Hi Beasts, welcome on our channel, it's our debut on YouTube and we want to start this with uh, The Thing, game from Pentdragon Game Studio, now on Kickstarter. Game with uh, the hidden role mechanism, uh, trying to recreate the tension and the experience you can feel when watching the original legendary movie of John Carpenter uh, and for us doing this perfectly. Following the comments section in the kickstarting campaign we found out some of you are looking for a playthrough to decide if the game is worth supporting. Uh, Pendragon Game Studio asked us to prepare uh, this playthrough. That's why Greg prepared for you a rules explanation guiding you through the first three rounds of the game. But I must warn you, I prepared this video using of course the prototype version of the game, so uh, some rules can still be slightly changed. Or polished. Before we start the game, I would like to show you all the locations that are available in the game. The first thing is not a room, but a table used in the second phase of the game when we are checking the results from the weather dice. Looking from top to bottom, we will find out that if we roll out the sun, we have to use one fuel marker in the boiler room, one fuel marker in the generator, one will increase the chill in the base if the boiler stops working, helicopter will be four spaces closer to us. Using the quarters, we lose our turn, but we can swap the cards we have on our hands. That gives us the opportunity to get better cards, cards in the next round. The kitchen and pantry are used to prepare meals for the crew. In the pantry we place food markers, while in the kitchen we can perform cooking action. If we do not prepare the meal, the crew will consume four food markers, but when the meal is prepared, only two. Blood test can be found in the lab. If we manage to draw the blood test, which is not destroyed, we can use it to expose an alien, but we can only use it on the most suspected person. Signal station allows players to send SOS signal, but firstly they need to repair it, discarding tokens with red cross. When players will send SOS signal, the rescue token will move to track below. When it reaches the end of the track, players can try to escape from the base. Helicopter fuel is not unlimited, so if weather is bad, there is a possibility that fuel will end before helicopter reaches the base. Depot is a place where you can find several useful items, like keys necessary to escape by snowcat or base helicopter. Depot is also a place where you can find a wire, which combined with flame tower can be used to expose the alien. Garage with snowcat shows how many fuel barrels are needed to tank it and how much dozer is damaged. Base helicopter works in a similar way, deliver fuel, repair damages, find keys and you can escape from the base. Boiler room is responsible for keeping you warm. At the beginning of the game there are four fuel barrels here and depending on the weather the boiler room will use more or less fuel. By performing actions here you can repl replenish the barrels, but if the boiler room runs out of the fuel completely, the match markers appear. If there are three of them, the boiler room will be irreparably damaged. The generator room is responsible for supplying power to the base, just like the boiler room starts with four fuel markers and has the same fuel consumption mechanism. The generator differs from the boiler room in that way it is always possible to repair it. In the armory you can find a weapon useful during the encounters and the flame tower which can be used both during the test for an alien or to set a fire to keep the temperature in the base high enough in a situation when the boiler has stopped working. The recreation room has no function as such. It is a room where the characters meet to make accusations and this is also the place where blood tests can be carried out to expose the alien. 
The weather station allows us to predict the upcoming weather. Thanks to it, it is possible to avoid the unfortunate throw of the weather dice. Kennel is designed to keep dogs locked. This room is not available for players who are still human, but it's possible for player who has already turned out into an alien to enter it. I will now show you a gameplay. The game is prepared for four players now. I've prepared it before, so I won't go through it now because that's not what this is movie this movie is about. The important thing is that depending on the number of players, the setup is a bit different. We have more barrels, we have to put more destruction tokens on the right fields, etc, etc. One important element I want to go through is an identity matching stage. We take the tokens of infection that we can catch from the dogs and we take the same amount of them as the number of players. One of these tokens must represent the thing. So for four, four players we have three normal tokens and one token representing an infected dog. We take these tokens, mix them and each player should secretly choose one token so that no one can see that. Then everyone checks. If it's a husky, nothing happens. Windows is a human, so he takes a card with a human being and slides it uh, to his right side. We move to McReady, who is apparently infected. He has to put a card representing the thing and insert it on the right side. You must remember that this game is a game of bluff, poker face, not showing your emotions. The better you play, the better you control what your body and face is showing, the higher chances you have to win. The others will certainly be human because there is only one alien at the beginning. The rest of the tokens goes into the ball. Uh, we will not need them at this moment anymore. And now quickly about the goal of the game. It can be won by humans or aliens, but not by both sides at the same time. People win if all of them run away from the base and the thing does not run away with them. Alien wins if he manages to escape from the base in any way or if any of the players freeze to death. The boiler room may run out of fuel, the base may freeze and generally if somebody freezes people automatically lose. One more important thing. McReady does not have to be the only alien. He can infect other people, so more players can be forced to go on the alien side. But I'll go to this later. You have to remember the major goal is to run away from the base and who will run away and in what configuration it will be showed at the, at the end of the game. I will quickly discuss what one round of the game is about. It is divided into eight phases where phase three is skipped at least at the beginning of the game uh, because it takes place it takes place only when the alien is revealed. We move on to the first phase which is to check what the weather is like. We roll a weather dice. I rolled a snowstorm. What does it mean? Go to the second phase. Go to the second phase. Check in the table, uh, in the last column under the snowstorm symbol, how much fuel we have to throw away from specific rooms. This means that we have to take two fuel markers from the boiler room and two from the generator. And the other two lines, uh, the one with the red X, uh, means if the boiler stops working, we cover uh, its place with the special additional freeze board and move the indicator on its track by two. If we reach the school, everyone freezes to death. But for now, it does not concern us because the boiler room is working. And the last symbol in this table is a helicopter that can came to save us after sending an SOS signal. That means that the last two lines do not interest us for, for this moment because the boiler room is working and SOS signal was not sent. This is all. Two phases behind us. The third phase is skipped for now because we don't have an exposed alien.
We move on to the fourth phase. First of all, we have deck of cards to play, but with only three types of them. We have sabotage, use and repair. Each of the players gets three cards. This is the limit of the cards on hand. Everyone gets only three. Okay, but what we can do with those cards? At first, when I showed you all the rooms, you probably noticed that each room has two diagrams. One green and one with red field. This means in every room you can perform a positive or negative actions. As you can guess, the green one are positives for the benefit of the humans and red one are negatives. The strangest thing is that the players do not decide for themselves what actions they will do. Players decide which room they are visiting, but they will not decide that they will perform actions here. The, the leader will decide it. And the leader is determined at the very beginning of the game. According to the rulebook, this should be the person who watched the thing from 82 most recently. In my case, it will be the Windows because it's most convenient for me to show you uh, all actions. Let's set it this way. He is the first player and he is the leader, so he gets hit this board. We have plus one on it, which means that we have one of those action cards here. And now. Now moving to the Mac ready. He is checking his starter hand. Of course, everything is secret. You show no one nothing, because that is the whole point of this game. He has subdash and two repair cards. He has to wonder if he wants to sabotage from the very beginning or try to help just to confuse other players. Let's say player McGrady says, listen, I go to the station and I try to fix it. And he secretly throws in a sabotage card. We go to the Bennings. He has two sabotage and one use card. Bennings is a human, so he wants to survive. And he says he will go with McReady to help him. But that makes no sense because there is no repair card in his hand. So he says he will go to the armory to get some kind of weapon. So he puts the card on the leaderboard and we go to the last one, the Niels. Forgot to say each character uh, has his own skill. In that case Niels is a cook at the station and the best thing he can do is go to the kitchen because he has his bonus which says uh, that if he's going to prepare food uh, all he has to do is move only one cube and every other character has to use two cubes instead. This means that we have a 50% better situation and why do you do that? To feed everyone at the end of the whole round. If you don't do this, you have to discard four cubes, so it is reasonable that the Niels goes to prepare it. If he does it, he will only have to discard one cube, not four. And he will discard one card with the symbol of use of the leader's board. All the time we have to remember that it happens in secret and nobody knows what's on the pile. We go back to the windows, the leader who has the power to use mentioned cards. Windows says he will help the McCready because he has a good card in the hand. Now Windows, who is the leader, shuffles the cards, but before he starts discovering them, he must resolve encounters first. Encounter starts if there are at least two maples in one room. Any type of maples. It can be two people, a man with an exposed alien, a man with a duck, whatever. Now we have only one such a situation in a room with a rudder. And it's a McCready, who is an alien, and Windows that does not have any idea about it. How does it work? Each of the player at the beginning gets three tokens in his color. These three tokens show something like that. Two have a human symbol and one has an alien symbol. And if you watched a movie, you know that an alien took control over the human when they are in seclusion. So these encounters are about the fact that if they are together and if the alien had the chance to take control of another person, nobody will see it. And that's what it's all about, taking control of other humans. 
Macrodis and Alien. Remember that uh, you have to show the other player two tokens. Macrody decides if you want to show two human tokens or one human token and one alien token, trying to take control over the windows. So he takes these two tokens. I have empathized that it all happens in secret and without showing any emotion to the other players. He passes the hidden tokens to the windows. Windows, because he is human, has to show two tokens of a human being. He cannot show any alien token. Now each of them, still in secret, discovers only one token. So McCready has 50% chance that he will manage to take control over the windows. He takes the token, bah, there is an alien symbol. Windows now became a f the thing. Uh, they both have to take their identity cards even if they haven't got infected and pretend to pick one of them to confuse other players. As we all know, both of them are alien now, so the Windows change his active identity card on alien one when McCready stays with the uh, same card he has before. He does not change anything, he simply puts the same card in the same place, but without revealing this to other players. After the encounter, we go back to our cards and the leader, who is already an alien, who has to discover at least the first card and somehow distribute it. And so, this is the repair card. It means it can be used only in those places that needed to be repaired. It cannot be used in the armory because there is nothing to repair here, nor in the kitchen. It can only be used in a room with a radar. So the leader must decide that this card will be used here. Whoever does this action is less important, let's say it's Windows. To mark that his action is done, we turn over his meeple. And I can repair one of the tokens of damage here. This room has one additional function which is presented by small arm icon in the corner. This means that this repair action can be done by every standing meeple in this particular room but only one maple will be exhausted. It means that we are getting rid of two damage tokens. Now the leader can decide whether they continue to play the cards or discard all of them. It's the leader decision, but he's already an alien. He doesn't want to reveal himself too much, so it's time to play another card. And it's a repair card. This is very unfavorable card for an alien because it means he has to use it here again at the radar. But only one token will be fixed because the other character here is already exhausted. We get rid of another token and discover another card and there is a sabotage. And now we can sabotage either the foot or the armory. Let's say the leader says we will sabotage the kitchen. This means that we reject two foot markers from the kitchen and another card use card this means that the only person person who goes to the armory bennings will do some action he takes two item cards he chooses one of those two cards he trades on dynamite and on flame tower as everyone knows who watched the film the flame tower is a very important tool for fighting aliens in this film so it's not secret that you have to take the flame tower. Plus, it's an important weapon because it can be used for testing if someone is an alien. In the film, they did a test with a hot wire to see if the blood will start to move, which means it's an alien blood. Uh, Bennings get this weapon. The second card goes back to the bottom of the deck. And this is the end of the phase war. Now we are moving to the fifth phase, to the common room and accusation. This is the best phase of the game. We can exchange things and most importantly we can ask questions, we can accuse ourselves, we can convince other players that someone is an alien, that someone has done something strange. Finally we are going to fold. This means that each player has to point out that other player as a suspect 
as uh, one who they think is an alien. You can abstain and not vote, but this is probably not the best idea. Let's just say no one has exchanged anything and the voting starts. And everyone voted. Uh, Niels gets three votes and let's say one vote go to McCready. We move them on the suspicion track. Was, uh, what is this track for? Because after the voting phase, we move on to the possibility of doing tests. Testing is about revealing which player is an alien. There are two types of tests. To make a blood test, we need to get a blood back from lab. Uh, to do a second test, we need a flamethrower and cable. What is the difference between those two tests? The blood test can only be performed on the person who is the most suspected by the other players, which is marked on the suspicion track. And the test can be performed by, with a flame tower and wire on anyone. For this moment, nobody can do uh, a test. Nobody has a blood bag or flame tower. So we are going to the uh, round seven. Time to consume some food. Because nobody prepared anything in this turn, we have to discard four cubes of food. What happens in all, if all uh, food cubes are discarded? Characters uh, start to starve and to show this, the size of the hand is reduced from three cards to just two. Now it's time to move to the last phase. Uh, eighth one. And it's time to move dogs and change the leader. Oh, in this room we have a leader marker, but nobody came here, so the windows, so windows will remain the leader. Uh, here we have a deck of, of all rooms in the game, one card for each location. So the first dog escapes and goes to the lab. The second goes to the weather station. The third goes to depot. The fourth one goes to the generator. I should take one more card for the leader token. This is the boiler room and the leader token goes to this room. So I shuffle it again and put it back. This is the end of the first round of the game. We move on to the second round, which means we go through the first phase again. This is the weather phase. I throw a dice. Cloud icon. It means that we throw away one barrel from the boiler room and one from the generator, and that's it. The thing hasn't revealed himself, nothing is happening. Each hero gets one card, because the hand limit is three. So we start with McReady. He has one sabotage and two repair cards. So what we can do with McReady? Okay, so let's say he says, I don't know what to do. The situation looks very, very bad. We are running out of the fuel in the boiler room and maybe I should go there to add more barrels to the boiler. So he, ha so he does that and throw a sabotage card. Bennings, who has these cards, let's say he says he doesn't trust all of us and he goes to the depot to get the wire. He adds the use card and goes to the depot hoping to find a wire. The cook says that maybe it's not worth to stand in the kitchen and cook all the time so maybe there are more important things to do. He decides he will try to get blood sample. So he discards one card and he adds one card to the pile. We go back to the Windows who is still the leader of the group and what can he do? Windows says he goes to bed. This is a special room for discarding cards. He will sacrifice all his round but thanks to that he can throw away three cards and get three new cards. Okay, so next let's check if we have any uh, events. We have two encounters, one in lab and one in depot. Every player with a dog in one room must go through events. And what does it mean? Here is our bowel with inf infection tokens. 
each player must pick one token and check whether is it normal uh, normal token or is it a token with uh, infected dog so firstly let's do a test for the cook okay <coughs> he succeeded he was not inf infected bennings now he was not infected too now leader got four cards he shuffled them and reveal first one it's use action leader must decide who makes the use action so maybe i will remind you right now that from the lab you can get a blood sample which can be used to test one of the players and try to to reveal if they are the thing or not but the test sample from the blood can be used only on the most suspicious person and the most suspected person is now in a lab so even if he gets that blood uh, sample he can't use it or at least he can use it only on himself so uh, so over here i have bowel with lab tokens cook need to uh, pick and choose one of those tokens um and what do we have here so it's a broken blo blood sample so he can't even use it okay now windows discovers another card sabotage okay so who will sabotage okay um we're going to sabotage with bennings uh, sabotage in depot means that we will discard one card from the deck forever okay let's continue revealing the cards use card there's one one there's one person left and it's macready so he has to perform a positive action he moves one barrel of oil to boiler room to provide heat for the next round the rest of the cards is discarded and we can move to the another phase so the characters go back to the common room and again they can exchange items blame each other and finally make a vote so let's say they all voted for the cook and one person voted for macready during this phase alien may decide to reveal himself and the best part is not all player has to do it so one player can be re revealed the thing and another player can be still pretend to be a human so macready decides he will do it he reveals himself as the thing now that throws a shadow on a window because they have met last round the question is is windows a human or not the rest of the players should observe windows and judge all of his decisions and actions let's go through the remaining phases we have to discard another four cubes of food because nobody has prepared anything to eat we do not do tests because we do not have the necessary elements for them and again we have to do a uh, dog's movement one dog one dog goes here one to the boiler room one to the helicopter and one to the kitchen and the first player's token goes to the armory we shuffle the rest of the cards and we can go to the round three i throw a dice cloud it means we take off one barrel from the boiler room and one from the generator and that's it and now we can go to the alien phase the thing first of all when he reveals himself he will he should discard all his cards discard all tokens from the lab and he will get two strength tokens what are they let me show you the thing takes all the location cards that are available in a game and chooses one or two because on each card he should put at least one strength token in order to get more tokens another thing should reveal himself important thing when the thing reveals itself it cannot escape in any way at least macready windows still can the goal of macready is to freeze anyone in the base so macready chooses that he will take the boiler room card and put one to strength token on it and another card maybe it will be generator and put another strength token on it and that's aliens round and that's aliens round soon you will see what those tokens do okay so let's move to the player's action 
Macready goes to the boiler room, then Bennings. Oh, I should deal extra card for everybody. Okay, so he has three cards. He says he goes to bed, discards the cards, take a new three, and that's it. This shows uh, a shadow on him because why he went to bed? But on the other hand, all players who were attentive enough noticed that Bennings never met McReady, so he shouldn't be the thing. Now the cook. Unfortunately, because he is first on suspect track, he has to show everyone a card that he throws on the pile. And we go to the leader, who is an alien, but nobody knows about it. Oh, I have four cards. So I will discard this one. Okay, so uh, now three cards, two sabotages. So maybe he will pretend he is going to fix the helicopter. Now let's check the encounters. We have only one, this one, but it really doesn't matter because Windows is already infected. But, I, but Windows still have to mix up those cards to pretend that something has happened. So now McReady can discover his cards. The generator, and he puts one strength token on generator room, and the boiler room, and again one, one strength token on boiler room. And what those tokens do? McReady can sabotage every room with at least one strength token. And the amount of damage he can do depends on how many tokens is in that room. So we will add one damage token here and we will take back that one strength token back to the McReady. But maybe you know what? I will change my decision uh, and I will take this second token to the uh, boiler room too. Let's say that we'll uh, speed up a little bit the game and I will show you more mechanics thanks to that. Okay, so now, now we should reveal the cards from the uh, pile. Well, sabotage. Uh, so let's say leader will do sabotage because we want to, um, the signal to be sent, right? Okay, unfortunately the next card is repair, unfortunately for the aliens. So another token is fixed. What does that mean? It means that they, um, it means that the SOS signal was sent, and we can do, and we can move that token uh, to the track uh, below. When the token reaches the end of the track, that means the rescue team arrives and everyone can uh, run from the base. Be below is the barrel, which shows how much fuel that this helicopter has consumed. So if the weather is very bad, the token will move slowly and the fuel will go down in the same amount. So there is a possibility that the fuel will run out before the rescue team uh, will arrive. So we have all actions finished and we can take our characters to the common room. So again, we can exchange cards, talk and vote for the most suspicious person. Nobody trusts the windows anymore. So let's say he will reveal himself uh, because why not? Windows uh, discards all his cards and now together with McReady they have three strength token. So what happens next? There is a food consumption of course, cubes are discarded, there are two cubes left and we have the movement of the uh, dogs in the last turn. Uh, so first dog goes to the radio station, the second one goes to the lab, the third one is on a helicopter, the fourth one is in a depot and the first player token go stays in armory. Okay, so we shuffle again all cards and we have the end of the round. So I throw the dice again, we have a snowstorm. A blizzard means that in the boiler room you have to uh, consume two fuel markers. There is only one, so for the lack of another one, a damage marker is added. This means freezing progress board appears. Next, we have to spend two barrels of fuel in the generator, but we have zero. A darkness token uh, appears. What does it mean? When choosing the action cards, the players do not decide which cards they want to add to the pile. They need to choose them randomly or ask the player on the left side Another, th another thing is the uh, rescue team. It loses one fuel and moves only by one. 
It will not reach us in a storm too quickly. Oh yes, and we should also move the cube on a cold uh, board two spaces to the right. We are closer to the freezing to death. So now the thing can choose the cards again. Let's say it will be the kitchen. Three tokens goes to the kitchen and the first player um, and the first player and the leader is Bennings. So as you can see, humans have low chances to survive here. Neither the helicopter is fixed nor the snow cut. There is no chance that the rescue team will reach them and the boiler room is already destroyed. They are going to freeze to death. Of course, they can fight for survival here. Uh, they have a flame tower. They can set fire to the base. Of course, they can fight for survival here. They have a flame tower. They can set fire to the base and push the cold token to the left on the track, prolonging their survival. And so the game goes on until it is over. So these are all the rules that I wanted to present you. You have to remember that the thing is a game in which emotions, interaction with players and playing over the table are the most important. For me, the indicator of a good game is when everyone remembers the game on the second day and that's what happened with the thing. And that's it, I hope that was uh, useful for you guys. I know it was a simulation of the normal play uh, for, for normal play you need for players, but I hope that showed you more or less how the game works. And once again, maybe we are YouTube newbies, but we are running our Instagram channel for about three years or something. And if you want to follow us around, uh, check the links below the video. And See you at the next game. Not a